Creepers and Geekers, Chris the Atari Creep here. And uh, now that the 100th video thing is out of the way and um, the Walk for Alzheimer's is done. Mm, God damn, I need that this morning. Um, I figured we'd get back in the swing of things. And if you notice, I haven't done a pickup video for September or October. And it's simply because I wanted to focus on the Walk for Alzheimer's. And then when I realized my next video was going to be the 100th video, I didn't want to upload a pickups video for my 100th upload and wanted to do the Halloween special. So I kind of neglected you guys for all of October. And for that, I apologize, but I hope it was worth it to you. So if you didn't see my 100th video Halloween special, it's a video uploaded just before this one. After this is over, go click on it. I'd really appreciate it. Um, now, with that said, let's talk about this real quick before we actually get into the pickups. The Necronomicon console. I wish I could open it and show it to you, but some of the wires are a little tighter than I anticipated. Um, what it is, is a Model 3 Genesis uh, stuffed into one of those storage book things that you can buy at craft stores. I came across the book for 50 cents at a, a yard sale. And this is a project I've wanted to do for almost two years now. And every time I would get started, something would happen in my life where I'd have to either put it aside or what have you. But um, if, if you haven't seen it, my 100th video basically shows a little narrative of me finding this in the evil woods of Massachusetts and uh, shows it working and how I put it together. So uh, if you have any questions about it specifically because the voiceover didn't work where I was trying to explain the process, by all means, ask me in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, that said, I will probably be building another one. This one I'll take a lot more care and time into and make it a lot more professional. And I may even auction it up for maybe a specific purpose, maybe a, um, to get this channel going a little bit more. Or I'm thinking more of a charity thing. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's get to September and October's pickups. Now, because I neglected to do a video for either month, I have a big pile of shit. And I've done this the normal way where I'm just, okay, I got this, and I got this, and I want to talk about where I got this, and, oh, I only paid $2 for this. Um, excuse me, itchy nose. Allergy season. I, I recorded it two or three times, and it's well over 30 minutes. So I figured, fuck it, I'm just going to do it in the groups in which I picked them up um, and just input pictures, and you can look at it, you can pause, pause it if I don't mention specific games or what have you. Um, and I figured it would just be quicker that way. I even have a list here. So hopefully, when I input the pictures, that'll be where my head's down like this, uh, looking. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, first and foremost, um, I picked up uh, Final Fantasy X for the PlayStation 2, uh, a Space Invaders plug-and-play, and River Raid for the 5200. Um, the River Raid was at a yard sale, or an estate sale for 50 cents, and the other two I picked up at a local flea market. Uh, next was... Uh, the Pac-Man board game, and I got it at a thrift store. I think it was a Salvation Army for like 99 cents. Um, it was missing Miss Pac-Man. But that day I got home and I eBayed it, and I happened to have found one, and I got it for a couple bucks. I actually uh, offered another price than what they wanted. They wanted like 10 bucks shipped. I offered $5 shipped, and it came with a couple extra ghosts and some extra stickers for them. So I was able to make that CIB, and we, you know, we got to play it, and it's not a bad game. I wouldn't play it all the time, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, the next couple of games I got at that same flea market uh, was Mario Party and Quake for the N64. Um, I have since traded those off for a few other things that are on here, but we'll get to that later if I even decide to talk about it. Uh, next for the NES, I got Marble Madness. Um, I got this at another kind of swap meet craft fair. Um, I was expecting it to be more like a normal swap meet, but it turned out to be more like uh, homemade goods and stuff like that. Really nice stuff. And a few antique booths, but there was nothing like your typical swap meet or what have you. But just tucked away in this one guy's booth just out of nowhere. I mean, it sucked out like a sore thumb. It was Marble Madness, so I made a deal with them and I picked that up. Uh, next batch, I got uh, an original PlayStation and Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Genesis. The original PlayStation, I pretty much, I, I, that's part of the trade deal from those N64 games. Um, I wanted an excellent condition PlayStation 1 or original PlayStation to go into the boxes I got that you saw in my last pickups video. I mean, I have everything in that box, including the little foam 
to wrap around the console and the baggies for the uh, the cords. So I was able to strike up a really good deal with that. I got the ghouls and ghosts in the console and a couple of little things um, with a couple of controllers and have you uh, to put in that box. And I was happy to finally complete that. Next game is a game that's on my original list, meaning I had it when the console was still new and relevant. Uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Now this is the collector's version. It's not the version I had, but it's the same game and it was much, much, much cheaper to get my hands on. And if I remember correctly, I actually made a deal to get this one. I can't remember how I got it or where I got it, but um, it was one of the games that convinced me to buy a PlayStation when it came out. Um, next slide. I got a Game Boy Pocket, and inside of it was uh, Pokemon Pinball. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, God. And uh, World's Scariest Police Chases for the original PlayStation. Um, these were found in a pile of stuff. Um... We had a citywide yard sale, and one of the things I like to do in collecting is after yard sale weekends or yard sale seasons, I drive around and I look at people's garbage. I know it looks, it sounds gross, but I'll drive slowly through neighborhoods uh, if I happen to be driving through. I don't specifically go out to do that, but, and I'll look to see if there's any bins that maybe have toys or something like that in it. Just random stuff that they may not have been able to sell. And I'll dig through it, and you'll be surprised what you can find. Not necessarily just video game stuff. But I was lucky enough to find those three items in a pile just like that. Uh, let's see, where are we at now? Mega Man in the Mushroom Kingdom for the NES. Um, I've seen this game for a long time and always wanted to play it. I don't feel like downloading onto the computer for, for a multitude of reasons. Um, wanted to stop my computer, so um, I just choose not to. And I really did want to play it, so I reached out to my buddy Johnny Wano, who takes care of things like this for me. Um, and he was able to make it happen. Uh, it's basically a ROM hack where you take Mega Man and Super Mario Brothers and you mash them together. And it's a great, perfect 50-50 of the games. Now, with something like this, of course, there's going to be glitches and stuff. And the game does have a lot of lag and glitches. But when it runs, it runs well. And, it, and it's really fun to play. It's hard as fuck. But it's, it's hard. All right, so this next batch... <laughs> I don't even know where to start with that. I'll just put the picture up and I'll tell you what's in it. Um, I got an in the box, in the groove pad, and also the game CIP for the PlayStation 2. I only picked that up one because of the price of this whole bundle. Um, and because I figured if 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 my buddy, Mr. Paku Paku, who's kind of into this dance dance stuff, didn't want it, I was just going to send it out to him. But I figured the kids here could enjoy it or even my girlfriend. What the heck? And it was worth the price. Um, also for the PS2, I got Prince of Persia, um, in Destruction Derby for the PlayStation 1, and five DS games, Ivy the Kiwi, uh, Glory of Hercules, The Vanishing Files, those are complete in box, and the two that are just loose uh, is this one called Mystery Case Files, The Millionaire, and Disney's A Christmas Carol. That whole bundle, oh, also a Tony Hawk three for the uh, GameCube. Um, that was $5 at a church thrift store. And that's why I picked up. I don't collect for the GameCube, but I figured I could use it in a trade. Or It was 5 bucks for the whole pile. What the fuck, right? Uh, but also shown here a couple of um, NES games and a Genesis game. I got Gunsmoke uh, and Des Destination Earth Star. Uh, I've always wanted Gunsmoke in cartridge form. It's one of my favorite I don't even know what to call it. It's a run and gun kind of game. It's awesome. Um, but it's also Western themed. And it's and I love Western. So it's such a great shooter. Different dynamic as far as how you shoot. You know, depending on which button you shoot, you shoot left or right. If you hit them both, you shoot straight. It's really fun. It's hard at first, but once you get the hang of the controls, it's great. Um, Vector Man for the Genesis. Uh, one of my favorite platformers. And since, you know, I had to get rid of my collection, that's been missing from my collection. So now I have it. And I been playing the hell out of it and lastly in this picture is blood rain 2 for the playstation 2 um, i've played the first one and i like it a lot um i saw this on a pile uh, i'll explain that another time i found an indoor swap meet and this one guy had four or five boots but one of them was like for overstock i guess and it was literally an enormous pile and one day when i have the time and a few bucks 
I'm going to go over there and spend three or four hours digging through it. Because I saw with my eyes a few things that made me believe that there could be some gems in there. Um, but this was on the top, and he gave me a really good deal for it. Um, and that is it for that picture. So the next one, I got Namco Museum. Uh, I think it was the, the 50th anniversary. I The picture will tell you. Um, for the Xbox. I don't have an original Xbox, but I do plan on getting one. I do have a Duke controller for one, which is my preferred one of those because I got big meaty fingers. And um, that has a lot of really good fucking arcade titles on it, including Dragon Spirit. Good shit. Uh, next was a Savers find, um, Tekken 4. Um, the next, I got a PlayStation 2. Here's the funny thing about the PlayStation 2. I actually responded to an off-rop ad for a vintage drill. Um, I wanted, I needed a drill. I like vintage tools more than I like modern tools because they last longer, they look cooler, and they're made of metal, and they're solid. And you just happen to have that, so I was able just to kind of skirt away with the PlayStation 2 as well. And uh, he says he might have games for it, and he'd sell them to me for a buck a piece if he ever finds them. I haven't heard from him, but whatever. Um, let's see. Next, a Genesis bundle. Um, a buddy of mine contacted me on Facebook and said, Hey, Chris, my dad found this in the basement when he was cleaning up. Are you interested in it for free? Uh, this is the same gentleman who gave me my 32X in a box for free. And, of course, I jumped on it. Uh, one, because I didn't have a, a Genesis Model 2. And there was a couple games in there I didn't have. So I grabbed that, and uh, the cool thing about it is someone even offered him cash underneath by accepting it, and he still just gave it to me. And you can see what games are there. The only one of real note is Mortal Kombat, the original. I had two and three. Now that completes, in my opinion, the original Mortal Kombat trilogy. So I was happy to have that. Um, I noticed I jumped over my Sega Dreamcast. I got a hold of a Sega Dreamcast at a... Salvation Army, I think it was. Um, they wanted like 12 bucks for it or something like that. I was able to talk them down to five because there was no cords or anything. Um, I was able to get to someone's house and I did test it out with cords. And it worked with the exception of the power switch wouldn't stay locked in the on position. So I just went on eBay, a couple bucks, took about a week to ship it to me. I put it in and it works just fine now. So now I'm on the hunt for, you know, controllers, cables, and all kinds. And that pile at the flea market I was telling you about, I did see a uh, Dreamcast controller in there. So hopefully I can grab that soon. And of course, I need games for it now. But the Dreamcast is one of those weird systems that eludes me. It's kind of like uh, every time I get it, something goes wrong. Either I can't find games for it, or say the controller port doesn't work, and I, I do the swap with the uh, little doodads. And it just never seems to work out. So I'm hoping this time I can finally sink my teeth into the Dreamcast and enjoy it like everyone else does. All right. So last bundle. Um, of course, this is the bundle that I got the, uh, the Genesis Model 3 in. Um, I initially asked this individual specifically because I wanted him to do the mods to the board that I needed for the Necronomicon console. Um, only because I only have a cheap soldering iron. And I would have mutilated it. And all I basically do is I had them extend the cartridge port, the power port, and the AV port, and add uh, LEDs to it. Um, but he mentioned when he shipped it out that he threw a few extras in there. And I was grateful. And then he even told me, it's nothing nothing huge. But, you know, it's something that's laying around and I don't use it anymore, so I'll send it to you. This fucking kid, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. This was an amazing pile of extras. I... Nothing huge. These are enormous to me, at least, because I'm the Atari creep, mainly, but because these are such great games for the most part. Um, so we'll start with, he sent me E.T. for the uh, Atari 2600, which, ironically, I don't have. I haven't been able to find a lot of Atari stuff out here, and what I have been able to find has been way overpriced crap. This cartridge would have cost me $20 here in Massachusetts. Fuck that. But he threw that in there, and I thank him so much. And, of course, the other eight games are... Uh, there's 7,800 games. There was Choplifter in there. There was Mission Impossible in there. Donkey Kong. Awesome color label, too, which is not common for the system. Um, there was also, God, where did I leave off? Uh, Miss Pac-Man's in there. Uh, you can see what games are there. I don't have them in front of me, and I apologize. I should have wrote it down. Um, but those are all all excellent games. Choplifter alone is awesome. Um, wow, my voice is cracked. Am I going through puberty again? God damn but yeah, 
So that's pretty much everything I've picked up since September. And uh, I'm just going over my list real quick and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. So first off, I want to thank my buddy uh, uh, Ronnie who sent that last package to me. Um, it really did mean the world to me. Thank you to everyone who's been watching this mess. I know my 100th video wasn't, I, I kept building up to being something. And I do it with my cell phone. And I tried to give you something a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. The volumes on it were kind of done on purpose, but I guess I didn't do it effectively. So whatever. If you jumped, you jumped. If, you, if it was just annoying, sorry. Um, but two people I didn't mention in that video that I really need to give a huge shout out to is Justin. Well, two Justins, actually. See, that's four. But two Justins um, over at 8-Bit Kitty and, of course, Atari.io or on Facebook, Atari7800.com. These two individuals, their groups, I should say, have been so kind to me the past six or seven months. Um, they've done more for me than I can imagine. And uh, I really do thank them. I can't believe I didn't have... I just need to get the video out, so I rushed the end of it. And I should have had a whole segment just for these two individuals. But they get it now, and that's that. So, guys, that's everything I've received from September and October of 2016. I hope this wasn't too fucked up of a format for you, but I just had to get it out. And I didn't feel like it being a 20-minute video, which is already running past 16 minutes. So, guys, have a happy Halloween. Be safe out there. And until I see you again, take care.